Okay, good evening everybody. This is uh, Monday seminar number 17 of the ongoing and exceptional McLuhan on Maui uh, conference and uh, set the show in motion. Well, there's, well, last week we mentioned the four versions McLuhan had. It's either cultural norm functioning, collective phobia, and national mismaking, or individual sensation. Those are the four factors in interpreting this uh, mass movement. Now, the question, Scott, is we look at them interacting with virtual society. And McLuhan wasn't uh, finished on saying this could be a new environment, a new reality that's only to the literate person false. And, you know, that question is what he probed. It's like Croker said. He went over into the simulacrum and engaged it. And he yeah, didn't... That's it, right. And, he, and it wasn't finished. It was ongoing. And but we have to remember that. And, and I think that... that that uh, uh, you know he didn't mind contradicting himself either and right. he didn't mind he, he loved it when you criticized him or said something that was against his usual uh, train of thought so he joined us to television and McLuhan really uh, had a really good idea about it and the projections into what uh, became um, the internet and that's right you know, Barry Everett writes that McLuhan, uh, Joyce figured out TV, he's the artist, the any environment of TV, and McLuhan was for computer and satellites. Most people identify McLuhan with television, but McLuhan was yeah. dealing with the computer and the, and the satellite and the yeah. internet. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. Not TV, Joyce had done it. So for, the, for his books, to bring people up to speed, he translated Finning's Wake up to the TV point. Maybe yeah. that's, that's the problem with Eric's Ten Thunders. He does not go into the Eleven Thunder, which Don Thiel does, which is the digital cyber culture. Uh, Don Thiel is really good on that, uh, communicating. Yes. Uh, how uh, Joyce builds the whole uh, thing on the communion and the communion of saints and <laughs> the mystical body of Christ in, in the Internet. This is the mystical body. This was... Uh, everybody being able to have their own uh, Christ at the mystical body. It implies in understanding media that the mystical body, he, he quotes a paragraph that or he sounds like what one of the critics said, he blew away Madame Blavatsky talking about the uh, Dante's perpetual uh, fusion with the body of Christ uh, by the electric media, but then he brings in the disservices in, in 69 when he writes Jacques Maritain and says it's an antichrist. It's a false body of the Christ. So he's questioning his very statements about what it is that he's in the middle of. Electrical engineering of the uh, electromagnetic spectrum is the false body of Christ. The natural analog uh, of uh, is the electromagnetic spectrum, that, that is more the case. Uh, the mystical body of Mary is the life force in general of the church, uh, of the human family, of the congregation, uh, and uh, the relationship for McLuhan between these two mystical states is the word or the generation of all states of being through waves and vibration. And you're saying that, the, that something's in the interval between Jesus and Mary? What did you just say there? The word. And the word resonates. Light resonates and the word is the resonation of light. Is the word the electromagnetic spectrum? The, the word uh, is the uh, resonation of, um, of uh, the electromagnetic spectrum with the life force. It's the effect of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's a jest. Yeah, G-E-S-T, gesture. But it's word gesture, but are you saying, Scott, it's an effect or it is the electromagnetic spectrum? I, I, I don't think we know enough about electricity, uh, or I know enough about it to say one way or another, or that McLuhan did. I think that he was, in fact, uh, uh, entering into a dialogue uh, with things that he had symbolized in concrete ways about uh, the spiritual continuum. Uh, and I'm just trying to articulate that. Right, so when you say electromagnetic spectrum is the body of Christ, that includes wordiness, or words, or the word, or gesture. Well, um, McLuhan thought that uh, Mary was the person who taught Christ how to speak. Um, mm. And uh, so, and, but Christ was the material uh, which she accessed in order uh, for there to be communication, something like that.